Mike, after seeing this offense and being a part of it with all the weapons, how excited are you about what could evolve from this offensive group? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's still super early. So, I mean, you don't want to go out there and say a whole bunch of crazy stuff. But, I mean, there's definitely some talent. Um, and But, I mean, that's all on paper. So, we got to go out and continue to have good practices. And we'll see what it looks like on, you know, September 11th when it, when it matters. Mike, Mike I, I thought they said two and can't throw the deep ball. Right? You guys said like that. I didn't say that. Looked like 55 yards in the air to me. Look good to me. I never said anything bad about him. What did you think of the energy out this Today for the fans, I mean, it felt kind of different. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome. I mean, fans are awesome. It's great. Um, but, you know, I said to Chris Greer when I was walking out here, I was like, I want him excited in January. You know, so it's cool to have him out here in July. And I think everybody's fans are excited in July. So we got to keep working and keep, you know, putting our head down and get to work because uh, everybody's excited right now. Everybody's optimistic. Uh, we got to go out and, you know, perform. and. Keep keep them excited and give them something to cheer about, which you know it's been a while since we given that. Uh, yeah, like I said, you know there's, there's a lot of talent. Um, definitely looks good on paper, and we're we're coming out here and you know putting in the work, and you know we got great coaches and great players and all that kind of stuff. Um, but we got to go out and do it. We got to go out and make plays and continue to build off of you know good days of training camp. It's only day four. There's no pads. It's it's a whole different world once you know you go out and you play real football. I asked Coach about if he wants to make sure that you feel loved. Hmm. You know you sort of have that tag. What does it feel like to be the tag guy? Yeah, I mean it's a business. You know, I mean the team's going to do what's best for the team, and then you got to go out and uh, you know perform and do what you do. So, I mean, there's not really much else to say. I'm not a big, you know, complain about it, make a big deal about it. Um, although it seems like the guys that do get paid a lot of money, so maybe I should have. But, uh, I mean, I'm just going to keep coming to work and keep doing what I'm doing. And, um, I mean. Do you, do you feel like at some point in your career you will, in fact, be recognized and paid as a top 10, top 7 tight end in the National Football League? If I earn it, I think so. Yeah, I mean, but. That's a long ways down the, down the line, and there's a lot of work that needs to put in, a lot of plays in, that need to be made, and games to be won before that happens. Um, but uh, I think you know you get you get what you deserve in this league, um, and uh, you got to go out and earn it. Was there, a point this, was there a point this summer you thought it might get done? No. And did that upset you at all? No. Mike, uh, coach says that you're really looking forward to showing that you can block and add that dimension to this offense. Can you talk a little bit about that conversation with them? Um, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not like we sat down and like they were like, hey, Mike, like, do you want to block? And I was like, sure. I mean, it was like I know what offense we're getting into and I know you know who we hired to be our coach and what scheme we're going to be running. Um, so I got to go out there and, you know, in order to make plays in the pass game in this offense, you got to be able to go make plays in the run game as well. So uh, I think, you know, working on it every single day and continue to improve. And like I said, I mean, we're wearing like these right now, so it don't mean anything. You know, you got to go out and make make the plays when you put the pads on and, you know, make the plays on Sundays ultimately is what really counts. What are the key elements to learn in the blocking aspect of playing the Yeah, I mean, you got to understand the scheme, who you're working with, where you're working to, and then footwork, hand placement, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it, but um, definitely – a much higher emphasis on it, you know, for myself uh, this season than honestly any other year that, that I've been here. No, Embry is good. Yeah. I was wondering when you went to the um, tight end, uh, what do they call it, the tight end? You yeah. Tight end, you. Was yeah. Kittle there? Did he was, you, yeah. Did you speak to him about the blocking? Units? Yeah, I mean, I was, I was talking with him just about the scheme, just about, you know, Embo and, you know, how he operates and, you know, Coach McDaniel and all that kind of stuff. So you try to, you know, just, you know, pick everybody's brain out there and obviously, you know, him being in this system. Um, and having success in it. Uh, but, you know, obviously, you know, he is one of, you know, honestly the best blocking tight end in the league. And then you see what he gets off of it in the pass game because of it. So that's the, that's the most important part. Um, and I'm going to keep working at it and keep doing Is that a pass-oriented camp or do you guys actually talk some blocking? Yeah, it's 50-50. It's, it's I mean, oh, wow. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you get up there and I mean, he gets up there and gives a, you know, presentation on all their outside zone stuff and how he – how he, you know, takes his first step and his footwork, his mentality, all that. So it's productive. It's good. When you, when you have a practice offensively like you guys had today, you see all the weapons, you know, Tyreek playing deep and Caleb Edmonds running hard and all that. Yeah. You kind of get a vision. Maybe this is, this is what we'll be. Like, this is kind of what we're looking for. 
I am not a big like you know expectation and all that like so like Lynn asked me yesterday like, you know I, you know how do you like it you know this that the other thing and I was like it's it's early you know you got to keep you know just going at it every single day um, and like you can sit here and say you know it's exciting it's this that but I mean nobody's gonna care how exciting training camp was once the season's over it's gonna it's gonna matter how the season goes so obviously you know this is the baseline and this is you know the foundation that, that we're building off of uh, so it's definitely productive and it's positive and there's a lot of good things going on out there um, but you know I'm, I'm realistic and I want us to continue to get better continue to improve and make those plays on Sundays in September October November December January throughout the whole entire season Is this staff giving you any guidance on um, jumping over dudes is that allowed <laughs> by this staff to jump? Uh, that has not been uh, discussed but I would say that that's not one of my better moves um, but if it comes to it and uh, I have to do it you know you know where to find me like how is uh, Teddy looking? Yeah Teddy's awesome Teddy's um, doing a great job honestly in you know coming out here and you know being a leader and you know being a guy that you know guys can lean on ask questions to he has a lot of experience in this league um, so you know I'm super excited to have him uh, I love having him around I love talking with him working with him um, and uh, he's got a lot of great insight and then obviously has a great arm and is making plays out there as well so uh, I'm happy for him and uh, you know excited to you know watch him um, you know this upcoming season as well do you think at the end of the season you'll, you'll notice an increase in uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think I took one snap from a receiver stance today. Uh, so it's definitely uh, it's definitely different. Um, and but I mean, it is what it is, and I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to another challenge and another opportunity. It's my fifth year, my fifth different offense coordinator. It could be like six if you count last year's interesting situation. Um, and then, I mean, so, I mean, you got a bunch of different guys calling plays. And, you know, this is my third head coach. So, I mean, it's been a whole bunch of stuff. And, you know, I'm just excited to, you know, just, you know, put my head down, work, learn a new system, and uh, keep at it and, you know, continue to work.